Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. From this video, we are going to start a series which is based on TinyML workshop for beginners. So without any further delay, let's get started. Have you ever wondered how Google Assistant understand your command or how your phone unlocks on seeing your face? It is nothing but the handiwork of machine learning. So whether you are aware or unaware of it, you are already using ML in your day to day life. So you must be asking yourself, what is ML? It is nothing but simply, as the name suggests, machine and learning. Without diving too much into very details or technicalities, let's just say ML or machine learning uses the data that you give it to and improves its performance over time. Like us humans, like we us, like we humans learn from our mistakes. And now let's see what is tiny ML. Just from the name, uh, it suggests like tiny and ML, tiny machine learning. It is the like simple practice of developing ML for small devices which has very limited resources and power constraints, um, bringing the benefits of machine learning to that device. Such devices are microcontrollers like um, Arduino, ESP, and there are a few others to name too. So why we use tiny ML? Uh, because there are like few use cases like such as um, health monitoring through your like smart watch or health tracker devices, um, industrial IoT like uh, sense any unusual behavior in uh, any of the motor or like the industrial devices, smart agriculture like uh, to detect there is any crop disease or like moisture in the soil over like huge huge parts of land and also there is like voice and speech recognition in your like home devices like Alexa or Google Home or like that and yeah so how we gonna like um, develop this tiny ML for our use case uh, we gonna use a platform Age Impulse. Why Age Impulse? Because Age Impulse provides us like almost all the necessary tools and services required to develop the machine learning model for the particular device which we are trying to use. Uh, the most important part is that the Age Impulse platform is open source platform to develop for tiny ML, which is a plus point. So what is the process here of using Edge Impulse? Okay. Um, what we do here is that we collect the data using the device and we train a model against that collected data set. And once the model is generated, we can test it against those collected data to see if the model is like working properly or not. And then we can easily like deploy it on that particular device and so on and so forth. It's the, like that easy. So this was a brief explanation and introduction to our series. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be discussing on how to work with like Seed Studio NRF 52840 board uh, with a basic code example and all. Okay, so this is it for now and we'll see you in the next episode.